Welcome to the February 2nd edition of the MacLab Video Tip of the Day, the Groundhog Day edition. And how appropriate. You think you do things over and over? I have been making this video since before 4 o'clock. <laughs> this time, no matter what, we're keeping it. There's going to be mistakes. Let's just roll with it. The background, look, made with brushes. And I'm not sure I like it, but I like it better than that uh, rose I was lo we were looking at yesterday. Uh, but lots of questions from students. How do I make a custom brush? What about saving a custom brush set? What about previewing those brushes? How do I do that? Okay, let's answer those questions and more by jumping over to Photoshop. And, oh, first off, a tip from a student. I love learning things from you guys. F5. Hey, Scotchko, you know F5 toggles the brush panel on and off? And you don't have to fumble around and click on the wrong panel on accident? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, great tip thank you very much window brush there's f5 Ooh, look brush presets we're gonna go there later on alright so now preview and brushes I wanna know what's inside these brushes I wanna be able to see them I don't wanna have to hunt because I forgot I found a cool brush somewhere and I can't remember where okay I know I feel your pain just wait till this list is 400 names long uh, so how do you do this well, first of all, you can go buy a third-party application, which will allow you to preview your brushes. But we're um, going to make do with the way to do it on our computers. Click Reset Brushes. If we haven't done that already, click OK. And um, then change the thumbnail from small to large. Oh, look, we got a great big picture. You can drag that corner and resize this however you want. Arrange these things how you want. And look, we got the finger, we got that cursor. Shift Command 4. We got crosshairs. Shift Command 4. Then you click and drag. Don't just click. It'll take a picture of one pixel. Click and drag. And if you drag from the wrong spot, oh no, how do I change this? How do I fix it? Well, you don't. You just hit Escape. Then Shift Command 4. And position your cursor. Then click and drag. And you make a selection. Then out on the desktop, hit F11 out on the desktop, we've got our screenshot here. After selecting it, just click once on it, hit return. That highlights it. You can now name this something very clever and descriptive like default brushes or brushes as most people call it. And then right click and say get info. In the get info palette, Deselect hide extension. Don't type .jpg. Don't type .psd. You can't do that. That won't work. Click OK. And now we have, we double click on this, we've got our default brushes. Command W. And then you just go to do this. You change this to the next set and click OK. And then Shift Command 4 and drag out your selection and repeat as necessary until you have all of these previews set up. Cool, huh? Okay, oh, but that takes, it takes five minutes. How long does it take you to hunt for brushes? It takes you a lot more than five minutes. Okay, so now I want to make a custom brush set. I don't want to mess. You know, if we reset the brushes and click OK, I like a couple of these, but I don't like all of them. Is there a way that I can just have a set with just the brushes I like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, click and go to the preset manager and we're gonna get the brushes preset there are lots of other ones we're in brushes and I want to make a brand new set first of all we know how to soften and harden we don't really need multiple copies of this brush so let's just do this quick we're not going to talk about what brush is good and what they're good for let's just click and say you want both soft and hard who knows why that's what you want. And you want that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And nothing else. That's what you want. OK. Let's save the set. Click and save. And you, it defaults. It goes to you, library, application support, Adobe, you know, blah, blah, blah. It goes down the list, and Adobe puts it right in the right spot. So we're going to name this, you know, something very clever like, you know, custom. And these will be our custom brushes. Well, nothing seemed to happen. Click Done. Well, I don't get it. So click here. Open up this and click on that pull down. And let's click on Load Brushes.
and when we get the load brushes dialog box this is in the way there we go and we've got our custom brush and we can click open and they come in right at the end these are our custom brushes see this right here is hard round and this is the same hard round but that's not what you want you want just your brushes okay click and replace brushes and this time I'm just gonna double click right here this time in command Z we come in here and we just have our brushes cool huh alright how do we add to this go to the preset manager and then we're gonna load we're gonna click we're not gonna load because they're here and we'll click on assorted brushes and we're gonna append them so our brushes are here and we get new brushes and now we can click and shift click because these are our brushes shift click selects a whole range and then you hold down command and say you know I want that brush and that brush and I like that one and 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 say save set and we're gonna name it just click on custom say save replace done now back here we can click on replace brushes double click on custom and now we have our set and you can see you can continue to build this up and there may be a better way to do this but this way you're gonna build up your own custom set and then if you want to get back and say you know I want to reset the brushes and get back to the beginning well there you go and here are the original brushes cool huh alright what about a custom brush I want to make a custom brush okay first of all so you don't have to go through gyrations to add it to your um, custom brush set the best thing to do is to make this custom brush in your custom brush layout okay so I'm gonna make a custom brush right here and this is gonna be the most beautiful brush in history oh, look at this I can't believe how beautiful this is <laughs> yeah okay you're gonna spend more time in the olden days we had to do something very different to make this happen but now it's so easy look just go edit define brush preset this is it give it a very clever name click OK and oh it's beautiful I can't believe it I'm so happy okay so now you come here and this is we have not saved this look can you save brushes from here there we go save brushes and of course we come in here custom and everything's covered up click save and replace and now our custom brush is inside our brush panel a little tip make your brushes really big because things in Photoshop don't upsample gracefully so start out really big and um, life is good and if you really want to make great custom brushes you make them in Illustrator bring them back into Photoshop and then you have perfect vectors there's a way to do it in Photoshop too but it's just so much easier to do it in Illustrator you got an extra step but you know who cares all right so uh, there you go you have and we don't need this brush panel to be three miles long and we really don't need those large thumbnails anymore and now you've got custom brush panels you get a custom set you got a way to preview your brushes you got so many cool things happen oh and you know the handy dandy F5 thank you very much for that tip keep them coming keep teaching me because I love learning from you the Mac Out video tip of the day was brought to you by students teaching teachers it should happen more often